Steve, what did you see about Kevin's mindset tonight? Uh, he was aggressive from the start um, at both ends. He attacked. Um, you know, he said it yesterday, he's Kevin Durant. And so he, he showed, showed everybody who Kevin Durant is. Steve, following up on that, was this what you were expecting from him tonight? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's uh, two-time finals MVP and, you know, he, coming off a poor performance, um, that's, that's what happens. Steve, it, it seemed like he, he brought the ball up a lot, like he, he sort of almost yeah. played like a point forward. Yeah. Was that an adjustment you guys made? I know he did that sort of the last month of the season or so, but it seemed like... No, it wasn't an adjustment. He just, he had a different mindset tonight than he had the other night and uh, set a tone right away. And uh, our guys loved it. His teammates were um, were excited about the way he started the game. And I think that was infectious and carried over to our defense too. I thought our defense was fantastic tonight. Steve, uh, to your right. Um, he also picked up two very early fouls. Did you have any thought to taking him out, or did you have a sense he would get as hot as he did? Uh, well, he was already hot, so um, and, and we loved the way he started the game, and so we just decided to keep him out there, and, and um, you know, we, we trust him to, to play with fouls. Not sure I trust Steph to play with fouls, but I trust Kevin <laughs> to still play with fouls. Um, but, uh, you know, the way he started, we just thought it was... Thought it was good to keep him out there. Coach, uh, 43 turnovers in games one and two combined, just 12 tonight. Well, what was the difference for your team taking care of the ball tonight? Just smart basketball, simple plays, you know, no uh, half court lobs, you know, no uh, wild passes. It was just uh, taking what, what the defense gave us, um, you know, hitting singles, just uh, continuing to play. Uh, Bogut, I think, had like an 8, 14, and 7. Is this a better version of, of Bogut than the last one you coached three years ago? Yeah, yeah. I think Bogut is uh, – he was already really good. But uh, I, I just like his approach. I like his uh, freedom. Um, I think um, – I think Andrew's in a really good place. You know, I think having a couple kids um, and going home to Australia and playing, I think uh, I think he's just feeling really good about his life and his game and um, – He's freed himself up, and he's he's playing at a really high level. Um, Pat here with Hoops and Brews. Um, Coach, can you just talk about Steph's rebounding? Um, uh, is it something that you guys made it a point for him to do, or is that just in the flow of the game? I'm sorry, who's rebounding? Steph. Steph? He's a great rebounder. He, I think he had 15 in game one. I mean, he's just a, he's a guy who has a nose for the ball and uh, gets a lot of long rebounds because he anticipates really well. Coach, um, this has been like a question, I guess, for your whole season, but how do you sustain whatever this is going forward for however many games? We just keep challenging the guys and uh, reminding them of, um, you know, what's at stake. And Sunday is the next one. We can take control of the series uh, if we can get that one. Uh, if we don't, we're, you know, we're, we're in, a, in a tough spot. So uh, we, uh, we got to just lock in and play the next one. But uh, I liked our approach tonight, and uh, I like our chances. See Ryan Gorsey, San Francisco Examiner. Uh, there was a moment there in the third where Steph got his fourth foul and Kevin got his tech, and that's kind of where you guys lost it a little bit the other night. How big were Kevin's threes there in succession uh, pretty soon, soon after? Yeah, but it was a different vibe than the other night, you know, even though the, the lead was similar. Uh, the other night we never had control of them in, in, during that third quarter. Um, I felt like we had control um, defensively the whole game tonight. Um, you know, Lou made a couple shots there in the third, back-to-back -back shots, and that's what you worry about him getting momentum. But we were able to uh, to do, do a good job uh, the rest of the quarter, and you know, keep keep the lead where it was. Uh, Shelly Smith from ESPN. We all noticed when it got to be a 31-point differential. Did you guys notice? Did you say anything? Jaron Collins said to me, "It's 31." <laughs> yeah. it's like, thanks a lot, Jaron. <laughs> So, uh, no, we were reminded the guys at halftime, and I, I don't even think we needed to, but, uh, you know, we, it's, it's such a long game. That's the thing when you uh, play or coach in the NBA or as a fan sit through a six-minute timeout. I mean, it's a, long, it's a long haul. There's plenty of time for a lot of wild swings, and uh, you just have to stay, stay locked in.
Knowing the mental grind of a championship run, is there some part of you that's relieved that you have a team like the Clippers that's keeping your guys alert and accountable, especially after game two? Yeah, I mean, you know, we, we faced the same thing uh, a year ago in the first round. We played uh, the Spurs, and we knew going in uh, we had to be locked in because uh, how well coached they were and connected. And that's the way, same way it is with the Clippers, just a really good young team. Uh, Doc's done a f fabulous job with them. Um, they got a lot of momentum. You can tell they love playing together. And uh, so tonight was a good example of, you know, you got to be prepared. You got to, and don't get happy when you get a little bit of a lead and, you know, let your foot off the gas. So it's, um, it's it is, um, it is good to play a team like this to, to keep you sharp and make, make sure you got to play the right way. Last two, right up front. Tom from Clutch Point. Steve, after the last game, Clay Thompson said uh, there was anger in the locker room and uh, if channeled the right way, it could, it could fuel you guys. Was there any concern about how it would be used and did you have to say anything to make sure it was used the right way? No, no, I think um, we've been through the, the, the battles over the last five years. Uh, we've faced uh, very difficult circumstances in the playoffs, and uh, these guys have been through all that. They've felt it, so when you have that experience, you rely on it. And um, usually it means playing a great defensive game and not turning the ball over, and that's what we did. Last question, Mark. Hey, Steve, Kavan's obviously always been consistent, but what have you seen recently with his mid-range jumper and how that's Well, done? he's, uh, I think he got some easy ones. Um, tonight early. Um, same thing happened the other night. Um, the way the Clippers are playing us, uh, you know, he's freed up a couple times, gotten a, a couple of easy lands or dunks, tip-ins. And then, you know, if you're four, four for four on, on lands, that 15-footer is going to be a little easier the next time. So he's done a really good job of picking his spots and finding his rhythm.